Welcome back to Football Manager 2024 with Retro Olympic Diamond in the Rough. So it's the beginning of the transfer window and we're still in first place with a commanding lead, 12 points uh, clear of top spot. So we just kind of need a coast at this point. We just need bodies and uh, they're all kind of dropping um, at the hip there. Uh, we did manage to beat Bradford 2-0 and somehow we managed to smash Charlton 3-0. So I'm a little optimistic about next season. Maybe we don't get uh, destroyed uh, when we end up getting brought up, because Charlton is a top team, but I'm pretty sure they played their backups. So, I mean, it's kind of difficult when they're they're obviously having to compete at uh, two different levels. Um, but it is the start of the transfer window. We did bring in some guys, and um, we are trying to bring in some more. Uh, we did get uh, three lone um, players. We did get uh, Milton Ani, who's on Colchester, but he's more so a body, so I don't even really care for... Uh, if we end up really doing anything with with him um, but in terms of his uh, contract uh, we're not really paying that much of it i'm trying to see i think we get him we're getting him for free so at this point i don't really care that we're uh, taking him from a team that's in our division um, it really doesn't matter he only played three games for them coming in as a sub so we'll definitely end up playing him as much as possible um, why not make uh, colchester just a little bit better uh, with that player um, we did get uh, Henry Sandat, um, who's a top striker. Um, he's not good enough to start for us, though, so I'm, it's kind of shitty that I end up getting him, but uh, he's just kind of rotate. It's going to be more of a body anyways, and he can play mid, and we definitely need to kind of factor that in. Um, in terms of his contract, we're only really paying around uh, $95 uh, per week, so I'm not too concerned about how much we're paying him because um, it's significantly less than what we'd be paying anyone else uh, at a much uh, less ability as well. Uh, the other loanee that we end up getting is Charlie Hickenbottom, um, which, I mean, he has played in League 2 um, before with Accrington. Last season, he's played at Veranama as well, but he is uh, from more of a League 1 team anyways. Um, but in terms of his contract, uh, we are also paying zero. So not too bad. I'm completely happy with that. In terms of his ability, though, his determination is pretty high, but that shouldn't really matter just because he's playing uh, just uh, for us. He is our best uh, center back, so we are definitely going to take that in stride. He is 6'1", so not too big, but he can also play defensive mid and central mid, so we can slot him in at any point when uh, we end up grabbing a little bit of um, other players as well, but we are kind of strapped for cash. Uh, one of the players that we end up getting um, on free transfer, though, is Kamari uh, Swire. Um, he can he can play attacking mid. We are going to try and train him to play midfield and defensive midfielder as well. We might even change our tactics just a little bit, um, but he is uh, our best option at attacking mid. So he's going to probably play every single game that uh, he can possibly play. He is a Veranema national player, but he can um, potentially be a League 2 player. Um, and more so just for his value, we are we are paying a sizable amount. He's probably one of the the most expensive players that we're that we're going to be paying this year. Um, and then we also got uh, James Norris so far as well, um, who's making around 800k as well. He can play anything on the left uh, side there, and uh, also mid as well. We're going to try and train him as a defensive mid um, as well, just so we can play him. Um, a little bit more, so we might even try and play him as center back, depending on, um, well, maybe not his height, actually. We probably won't play him as center back. We might even uh, slot him in um, as attacking mid as well after he ends up getting that training. Uh, it does say he's close to full potential, but he is uh, probably your better mid. Um, but I think uh, we're going to have to kind of look more in terms of maybe even a left back or uh, maybe an attacking mid left. Uh, he is probably your second or third best player there. Um, so, I mean, 800 is kind of steep for him, but uh, with the low knees, we, we didn't do too bad in terms of that. Uh, players that we end up uh, parting ways with so far is Alex, Alex Giles. Um, he was making around 300 with us, so we are definitely happy to see that off the books. In terms of finances, though, we are around uh, 1.3 1, 1 million, um, but in terms of our committed spending at the moment, um, it does look like we're... A little bit difficult in terms of payroll, but I kind of don't really care. I might even ask uh, that's the board if we can get more finances 
Uh, next one, no, that's not going to help us at all. Build new ground, no, that's kind of stupid. And facilities, maybe we try and do one of these. See if they actually do that. Since I don't think we're going to be able to get any of that kind of stuff. We could improve youth recruitment, yeah, let's do that. See if they manage to do any of that that kind of stuff. But that's so far how much we have in terms of the transfer. Uh, let's jump to uh, the game and see if we can manage to make a little bit of a rotation for that. And here's our squad for that match. Uh, we do have Proctor in net. Um, unfortunately, our goalie is uh, injured for a little while. Daly's also injured uh, for around three weeks. Um, we do have a couple other injuries as well, which is kind of annoying. Um, trying to see them here yeah Hanbury's out with the flu so between 9 and 12 days Ollie Evans is injured as well he should be back between 11 and uh, 3 weeks so we do have uh, Proctor that's going to be playing one of his first games with us I he is uh, on transfer bid from Wrexham so he might end up leaving us as well um, hopefully before uh, that ends up happening because I'm pretty sure we'll lose if we have uh, Jake Ling uh, start for us who isn't very good. Um, but um, we do have Norris making his debut, Hicking Bottom, Cushienza, and Barrett as well. Martin and Ani are going to be playing. Uh, Makuna, Swire, and Havenhand are going to be as our attacking mid. Then Amlu is going to get the nod up front. So it's kind of a disappointing with that. Uh, four debuts this match. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up losing this one. just in terms of like harmony as well. Um, but we are playing against Salah Moors. It's not going to show us how well they've been playing recently. Um, but, I mean, I am pretty optimistic. We are away from home as well. And we're just really hoping for a result. If we can get a draw, I'd be happy. Or just not embarrass ourselves. But it is a good uh, chance to, to look at our new signings and see if we can really build on uh, the early transfer success, I would say. And, I mean, so far, two highlights, but none of them are because of we've done anything. It's, uh, we're just playing more defensive at the moment. We are playing more of a positive approach. Um, but if we end up losing this game, it's probably going to be our worst loss of the season, for sure. Clark ends up running through. And that doesn't look very good so far. Um, doesn't go in, though. Proctor should count, some luck, count himself lucky there. Turns it away, though. I do like that. And Havenhand clearly got fouled, though. No, Havenhand clearly got fouled, and I don't know why they end up uh, calling it back when he ended up trying to get it. Proctor manages to turn it away. That looked like a top corner shot for sure. Holm now with it. At least we have some some supporters. There's There's a decent amount of supporters that are there. But as I said before, it just looks like all these teams kind of just do our bidding for us. Because Cruz tied with Grimsby Town so far. I mean, Salford, Salford got bought, bumped up as well. Oh my god, already day one. Where is it? I don't even see that he is injured, so I'm going to ignore that. He looks completely fine to me. Uh, Wrexham's up as well. And Makuna now with it to Swire. And Swire almost put one in. I don't know why they'd want us to sub him, but that's odd. So we got our first shot uh, on target. Now we got our second here, hopefully. Wow, I thought that was going to go in for sure, but it gets turned away. And where's Salford? Who's Salford playing? Oh, they're, they're beating Morecamp, which is another top eight team as well. So they're they're all just beating each other. So it would be uh, pretty fitting for us to lose this game, I would say. Proctor turns it away there. Dixon to Craig. And hopefully they don't manage to get anything there. Turned away. We get lucky by the crossbar. And Omlu, I don't even know how you get a yellow. But Omlu now runs. I'm surprised the highlight's still going on. And it ends there. Very anticlimactic there. We haven't really shown anything uh, in this game, but I think it's just because of all the rotation. Ani and Martin look like they need to be subbed at half, though, because they've been running this whole game, clearly. 
That is not... No way, Ani. You suck. It was going out. There's no reason why you needed to even touch him. <coughs> and just like that, we're down one nothing. Ani, you selfish jerk. Yeah, we're not even going to watch the... <laughs> that, that was so dumb. I don't even know why they would even call that. I don't even know why he'd even initiate a tackle. But we are down one nothing, and it looks like it was inevitable throughout this game. We do have a uh, row that's injured as well, so a lot of our regular starters are are not playing. But it does suck that we're gonna have to make two subs probably pretty early um, in the in the second half there. Maybe even at uh, half. Haven hand with the challenge there, but still their highlight. We're not really playing very well. Remy now with it to Asu. Gets turned away. We concede a corner just before half. Hopefully that's uh, that's all she wrote for this half, though. Pick and bottom not, uh, not proving to be the game changer that I was hoping. Uh, with a 6.4, Barrett's also still upset for whatever reason. And our XG just haven't... Uh... Oh my god, okay. Yeah, things have to improve there. Let's take a look at the tactics, see if they're actually... Yeah, they're exhausted, so... Ani Colonin can apparently play. So Hickenbottom's going to get his his nod as a midfield there. And Peters is also tired. Cook could come in. It feels though we might want to change this up a bit. Yeah, we'll play with the midfield here as well, so we can kind of uh, make a rotation. We'll put uh, put Sire here, and then we'll put uh, uh, actually Sandit should have probably gone there, but yeah, we'll put Sandit uh, there. Maybe not a good idea, but uh, I mean we're kind of out of options at this moment. I feel as though any, any uh, football player should be able to play any position. So the fact that it shows that he can play it, I'm going to take my chances. Norris now at the corner. And we end up getting it back. Norris now with it to, to Swire, to Barrett, back to Norris. And Makuna hopefully will prove me right here. Oh my god. Almost kind of the same thing. We almost got a penalty there, I would say. But the highlight's still going. Sand it now to Norris. Norris has uh, been the first one to touch it and maybe one of the last ones. No one gets to it. Barrett now with it. No one gets a shot. This is ridiculous. If this is a counterattack and the longest highlight I've ever seen, I will be so upset. We get a free kick here with a chance. Omelu now with it. And that should be a penalty. So two penalties. This is kind of sad. This ref needs to check himself for sure. There's two penalties in one game. Norris now with it. And he puts it in. I thought he was going to miss it. Carson looked like he got a touch to it. But Norris manages to get it, I think, on his debut. Yeah, Carson got a piece on it, but it didn't really do anything. So I'm happy. I'm happy as a clam for sure. Makuna looks like he's going to need a sub as well, so I'm just hoping we get a, another goal here. Swire with it. Oh, come on. And finishes it. Thank God. And he scored on his debut, so he managed to turn this around at least. But uh, Makuna is definitely going to have to come off. That's for sure. Swire now with it again. To Craig. To Martin, and it looks like it's going to be their highlight, unless we can get an interception here. Home now with it to Asu. Yeah, it looks like they're going to get us on the break here, probably. Yeah, it doesn't look too promising for us. Yeah, I kind of knew that was that was inevitable. It's kind of sad, sad that that ended up happening, but uh, we might want to make the adjustment now. Let's put in Peters. Feels though that might be a good uh, bet. Let's put 
Uh, maybe we put Swire actually up top. Now we'll put Haven Hand up t up top. Take off Amalu and put in Clay Mat. And I think we still get one more sub after that. Um, I mean, Norse could have played in the mid as well. Yeah, we'll put Kamasin in for Barrett. Feels though like he let us down. What? Oh, okay. I thought I was telling him to come off. I was going to be so pissed. Peter's now with it. I mean, Peter's started this off a little bit uh, shaky, but uh, he is one of our best players, that's for sure. Sandat now with it. Gets turned away for a corner. We can probably encourage everyone, actually. Sandat, that highlight. Get another free kick here. No one, no one knows how to header it, apparently. Off the post, it's going to go for a goal kick. Cullinan almost putting it in there. Do like the versatility of Cullinan. He can play either center back or uh, left back. But uh, we have 12 shots, 5 on target. And it looks like a highlight on our defensive end. Another penalty. This ref needs to be fired immediately. I am absolutely livid. Proctor, you better save it. And yeah, we're we're pissed. That was that's ridiculous. I've never seen I've never seen a ref call three penalties in one match. Yeah, this guy needs to definitely check himself for sure. Sandat now with it. It's I don't even know if it's gonna be a highlight. Peter's now with it. Havenhand can't quite get to it, and Norris looked like he almost squeezed one in, but unlucky there. Remy with it. It looks like we're probably going to concede another one. Hickenbottom now gets it to sand it. Gets, gets it taken off of him pretty cheaply. That's not uh, good uh, striker quality, that's for sure. Peter's now with it. Back to Cullinan. Back to Sandit. Now Norris with it. Crosses it in. Haven hand with it. And we end up tying it up at least. Crowd's absolutely wild is what it said. We do grab the late equalizer. Nice cross by Norris. So I do like the signing of Norris. That was like a bullet. That's going to be very good for Haven hand for sure. And a lot of goals in this. But their XG is 3.38. Oh my god, that's insane. Now it's going to be the one highlight probably of this. Uh, can't get, can't quite get to it. Seven minutes extra time. That is excessive as well. Pick and bottom. Dispossesses it. Now Cushienza has it. Let's see if we can get one more chance going here. Cullen in with it. To Haven Hand to s oh, and Haven Hand finished it. That is onside by a mile, and we end up managing to get on top here. Fantastic play. Seven goals though. Yes, that was good. Maybe he could he could have been close to offside actually, but it looked like he timed that perfectly. Nice pass to Peters. They're gonna definitely show it here. Oh yeah, he was on by a mile. Okay, that's good. Haven had no exactly what to do. It was a great decision to to switch him. It's not letting us change our. That is weird. Oh, confirm changes. Okay, that's why it's not letting me. Oh, free kick. Okay. So it didn't even do any of those tactical changes. That is interesting. Proctor just needs to hold on to it, and we will be victorious. And somehow Haven Hand and Peters are still unhappy, but now they've all of a sudden become happy. 2.45, we did kind of FM them. They only had five shots on target. Clearly, clearly Proctor is not our the goalie for us, though. He managed to get one or two stops, but um, let's see the crew. Did crew end up winning? Crew lost. So like I said, 
They're just doing our work for us. They lose in the 80th minute. Where's Grimsby? Grimsby's last place team too. So Grimsby ends up actually taking away three points from them, adds it on to us, and we're just cruising 15 points clear now. And Salford is is at the heels uh, for crew, but it looks like an an automatic promotion. Looks like it's definitely in the cards for us. I'll, I'll have to double check. I'm pretty sure that that's uh, the top three does get uh, automatically promoted. Uh, we'll do rules. Sorry. Yeah. So no matter what, it looks like we're we should be promoted, and we'll we'll get a couple uh, thousand k for that. That is so low. Um, but let's jump to the next uh, match and towards the end of the transfer window and see if we can manage to get a couple more signings there. So in between our last game, we managed to tie against Salford and then lose two straight. One's against Knott's County and then the other one against Leicester, but uh, that was in the FA Cup. So we were definitely expected to do that. And then I count this one kind of as a tie. We managed to beat uh, Knott's County in the quarterfinals of the uh, Bristol Mortar Mortars uh trophy and uh, we did secure some transfers though so I mean we did uh, I think we already showed um, Ani though um, we did bring in um, O'Reilly as well and Butterfield and uh, Hickingbottom is on loan so Butterfield here he looks pretty okay I mean he should be able to play a decent role for us but we are paying 1.2k um, for his services. He is the second best uh, center mid. The one that's uh, better than him is um, the other transfer that we end up getting, which is uh, O'Reilly, who can kind of play a little bit everywhere in terms of the central role. We're going to probably try and train him as uh, left and right um, at some point, and we'll probably kind of do the same thing um, for, for Butterfield as well. Um, might even want him to kind of play um, maybe even center back, um, just kind of like a makeshift one. I understand that he's a little bit uh, smaller in terms of his height, um, but I wouldn't mind him playing at least another defensive role just to kind of uh, give us a little bit more versatility uh, with him as well. He is a bit slower, so maybe more central mid is um, for that. Um, but we did end up having to make a massive uh, transfer out though. Kind of disappointing um, if you ask me. Um, we did have to uh, part ways with uh, Kamasin. He was apparently unhappy with the amount of um, fixtures that he was playing, um, but he was playing around 20, 23, um, yeah, 23 league games uh, this past season. Um, six of those coming on the bench, but apparently that wasn't good enough uh, for him. Um, he's still going to be kind of disappointing so we did add a couple fees onto that as well so we'll kind of um, showcase that in a sec um, but then we did get uh, rid of Fuller, Meachin, Proctor um, end up going as well, Davies or sorry Davis um, end up going on loan as well so it does free up a decent little bit in terms of finances though I think we can make adjustments here okay won't let us do any more adjustments in terms of payroll because they did it once already um, so let's see we're committed to spending around 20,000 so I can't even adjust that um, so that we can move the transfer budget which is kind of disappointing um, but our overall balance is still 1.1 1. Uh, 1. and uh, we did manage to secure um, some of our uh, facilities to to get uh, um, renewed as well so I think uh, some of our training facilities might uh, get renewed um, towards the end of the season anyways um, Development Center, Youth Candidates, it looks pretty abysmal. It's going to be pretty bad uh, come March. And we're just towards the end of the transfer window, so I don't really see anything uh, flashy happening for that. Um, but let's see um, for our next game, and let's see if we can turn this all around and manage to get another win um, in the win column because it's been a little bit uh, lackluster over the last uh, couple games. And here's our squad for that match. We have Hanbury in goal. Hanbury was also injured um, briefly. Um, I think he ended up having the flu for at least one or two of the games. So that kind of justifies why we end up losing. Um, he's doing pretty well this season, actually. Um, has around 13 shutouts. Or sorry, is that shutouts? Yes, 13 shutouts in uh, 29 games, though. But the other games, he's let in a decent amount. 
Um, but we have Hambury and goal, Ali, Christianza, Hickenbottom, the guy on loan, and Barrett as our back line. Roan Martin are going to start as our defensive mid, and then we have Peters, O'Reilly, and Makuna as our attacking mids. And then Omelu gets not up front. Uh, Havenhand is currently suspended. Uh, he got suspended the last game that we ended up playing um, in the cup game, so it's kind of weird that uh, he's going to have to uh, suffer from it um, in this game here. Uh, we do face against, I think it's Barrow that we're playing here. And, um, yeah, we're just hoping to get back into the win column because, I mean, I don't see us really bottling this season. Um, but Kamasin, losing Kamasin is going to be huge. I think it's going to hurt us a little bit more than um, what I hope. But he's already uh, he's already made it to our uh, top transfer ever. So the fact that we end up actually making a decent amount of money on a transfer and got around 20% of his wages... And we end up getting some after appearances and a little bit of in terms of installments. Oh my god. Makuna, Makuna couldn't even finish that one. That is disappointing. Um, all we needed to do is finish it. Um, but I feel as though Crew, Crew has two games at hand and we're still 10 points clear. I wouldn't be surprised if they end up uh, losing this game as well. And I mean, as long as Crew beats every other team and then loses against... Uh, Worst teams, I mean, pretty happy with that. As long as it's the top five team that they end up taking out and then lose against the other ones, we're fine. And that was a nice uh, nice turn there, but we didn't get anything. Walsall now back in the top uh, top six. It would be crazy if we both uh, end up getting uh, promoted. We'd be very happy with that. Is Crew even playing right now? Crew is tied with Cheltenham, and Salford is playing against Wrexham. So... Either way, uh, one of the top teams is gonna is probably gonna end up losing, and uh, kind of add to the cushion. They do have two extra games uh, that they played, so it's around six points potentially um, that we could um, add to that. So not too bad. And now Peters with it can't quite get it. We end up getting the corner. Uh, 34 minutes in. Row Row's doing pretty well. He was initially upset with a new signing that we end up having. Um, but, I mean, he seems over it now. Arab Bjordson. I thought it was Airbnb for a second that his name was. I was like, that is just so odd. Can't quite get to it. And uh, looks like it's going to be 0-0 zero, zero going into the half. I mean, we'll even take the point. I'm kind of okay with that. Crew is down one nothing. Like I said, it's as if they're listening. And just for the half... See if we can get something. Ollie's a little bit uh, bent out of shape. Riley can't quite get it on target, and it looks like that's going to be the end of the first half. XG's kind of increasing there. Ollie might have to come out. We're gonna, we're actually going to take him off now. Kind of didn't realize that Ollie's going to come off. Um, you know what? Let's put Norris. Norris played very well that one game, so I'll put him in for now, and kind of see uh, how that goes. And hopefully, hopefully he can do as well as he did that one game where he just did, like, unbelievable free kicks and stuff. What? Better be just a yellow. Yeah, okay, it's just a yellow from Akuna. One of the games that we ended up losing, Obi ended up getting sent off in, like, the 30th minute. That definitely screwed us over. Um, but Makuna's probably going to have to get subbed as well, so that yellow's not really going to matter that much. Providing that he doesn't get fouled in the next, uh, or doesn't foul anyone in the next five, ten minutes, maybe. And Norris can't quite get to it. It would have been nice if he could, uh, could have got it and done a decent uh, flick there. That is garbage. How's that a superb assist? He literally just ran into it. It's just like a tap-in. We're going to review this a little bit. But um, I don't like how we're playing right now. That looked offside to me. That looked like an own goal, too. It looked like kicking bottom kicked in in our own net. All right, let's just end this stupid thing. Makuna's um, going to have to come off. So is Roe. Daily. No, I don't want Daily on. All right, O'Reilly's going to come here. We're going to put in Panassar. Probably. 
I guess actually I guess Daly could have probably played there. We'll put on Panasser actually for Rowe. And then we'll put in uh Daly. Butterfield might make his appearance um at some point. Barrett needs to come off. Didn't want to really put him in. And then we can possibly put in our last sub here. I mean I wouldn't mind it actually. Martin's the only one that's kind of tired here. We'll take him off and put Butterfield. Panassar, I thought Panassar could play defensive mid. Oh no, it's awkward still for him. Or unconvincing. That's fine, I don't I don't really care that much. Let's demand more here. I mean, it's not the worst thing if we end up both losing. 4-1. Jeez, Cheltenham's destroying crew. And where's the other... Where's the other one? Where's Salford? I don't see them anywhere. I'd rather the extra point, though. No one can get to it. And Peters finally gets to it. Crosses it in. No one gets to that one. Butterfield now to Parrington. That's a foul. So we end up getting a penalty. If we can score this, it's going to be a good game. We can at least salvage one point here. Norris with it destroys it. I do like Norris. That's his third goal. You're level. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can manage to come back here. We have the eight shots, two on target, 80th minute now. And our XG is at least uh, good. We do get a corner here. If we can manage to make that work. Norris with it. And gets turned away pretty easily. We do get another corner. Now Peters with it. To Patterington. Back to Peters. Oh my god, I thought that went in. Another corner. Peters is also tired too. But he's only around a 6.1. And I can kind of see it with uh, with what he's managed to do in terms of the final third of the of the game. Partington now with it. Oh my god, no one can get a foot on it and it gets turned away. I mean eighty fourth minute. Let's kind of encourage everyone. Go very uh let's leave it. We'll go attacking still. And I don't think we're gonna have any shot here. It looks like it's gonna be a tie. And that's all she wrote. Eh, yeah, disappointed, I would say. Let's look at Sulphur. Let's see who else. Um, so Crew managed to come back at least 4-3, but they still lost. Sulphur lost against Wrexham. So, I mean, we still come out a point ahead. So, not the worst. So, we'll take that, but uh, wouldn't have minded uh, a win there. Daily is going to get a little bit more in terms of payment. And I don't think there's going to be anything uh, in terms of the transfer window. But we'll probably come back. I mean, we'll definitely come back for the Wigan game for sure. Um, and then we'll probably come back for either the Bradford, Grinsby, or Crew game. Crew, Maybe the Crew and the Wigan will come back for. Uh, because I feel as though that might, those might be a little bit important. But uh, hopefully you guys like this. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you for watching. Until next time.